Um, hi, my name is Lilia Sanobar Guerrero. I am going to be a senior in the fall at Santa Clara University. I am a double major in sociology and Spanish with emphasis on pre-law. I think you could always use a little bit of math in your everyday life. Um, maybe not specifically. I know that um, part of sociology, we take two different methods, which are qualitative and quantitative. Quantitative is definitely math absorbed. It is statistics. It is using percentages, ratios. I am not math savvy, so I definitely understand kids who are like, oh, I don't like math, why am I going to use it? Uh -huh. Who definitely need it. it uh, yes, I am first generation, which means I'm the first one in my family to go to college. Um, it was a big deal in a family of seven. Um, what really got me interested to go to college was a program called AVID, which is um, Advanced Via Individual Determination. It is a program that is in some middle schools, but definitely many, many high schools which I strongly encourage students to further look into it, um, become more aware of the program, especially if you are a first-generation student or especially if you're a student whose parents may not be able to really um, help you through thinking about college, um, through the financial process of it, the realities um, of going to college. What is FAFSA? How do I apply to college? How do I afford college? You know, maybe I could go to college. Maybe it's not so far out of my reach. Go into, you know, your main office at school, Ask around, hey, I was just wondering, is there an AVID program? How can I get into it? Once the parents know, it's so um, it's much easier for the students to kind of get on board because the parents really emphasize it. You can't emphasize something if you don't know it exists. So definitely um, bringing more attention to the program in itself, to not only students but parents as well. I definitely am a little uh, wild child. I like to be a little adventurous. I've gone skydiving. I love to go swimming in the ocean. Um, I love to be in immersion trips which are trips where you go to foreign um, countries and really um, involve yourself in their situation. Um, I remember my second year of college, I went to El Salvador, and that was a great experience where I kind of learned their economical, political situation and brought more awareness of how I, as, someone, as an American, can um, help bring more awareness to their situation, kind of uh, try to ease um, their burden of them, making them feel like they're invisible. Like, I don't want people to think that we don't care about them. Um, um, college is a whole another world. It is definitely a place where I've, I've grown a lot. I've become more aware of what my passions are. You know, I understand you're in high school and you're like, which college should I go? And you don't really know and you're kind of like, I know I applied to a whole bunch of different schools, but I was kind of winging it. My final decision was based just on um, financial availability because that was one of my big concerns. Santa Clara University, it's definitely opened my doors to um, my community, what I can do, how I can be involved, um, how to be an insider in a situation instead of an outsider and just seeing things pass by and acknowledging um, maybe some problems that we should be addressing. Um, it's definitely opened me up to um, not just U.S. problems, definitely outside problems in El Salvador and Mexico. Um, I know I'm part of Mecha, which is a Hispanic um, Latino club within campus, but I definitely know there's like a Pacific Asian um, club. There's just different, there's so many things. I could never just in one sitting tell you all of them, but there's definitely different areas where you could find your click, like your area of where you feel like you belong. And there will always be something there for you. Even if you don't think, even if the campus is huge and you go to a super huge, like Cal Poly, you will always find somewhere, a club, a click, an area, anywhere you want that you will belong. And it will feel, it, it's kind of weird to say it will feel really, really good. Because in high school, you're kind of, you know your own friends. But in college, you're kind of like forced to make new friends and meet new people and become more aware of what you want to be. And you kind of really have to step out in the real world.